Hey there, Bob here again. In this Excel lesson, I would like to show the application of absolute cell reference. But heads up, this lesson is for beginners only as this lesson is very basic for new Excel users. First thing, I would like to explain what is a relative cell reference. This is basic cell reference that adjust and change the content of cell when copied or when using autofill. The cell reference will change when a formula is copied from a cell. Absolute cell reference is when a formula is copied from one cell to another. So in order for me to be able to explain it more clearly, I would like to start with putting in some data, okay? So we actually don't have record. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some salesperson, person number one. Okay, then I'm going to copy it down to salesperson number 10. The next thing I would do is I would get the numbers for the exercise by using the drum between formula. Double click it. I'm going to give 100,000 sample for the bottom numbers, then 200,000 for the top numbers, then close those numbers, okay? So we have the numbers now. And then I'll just click it, or rather copy it to March, then copy it down to salesperson number 10. Okay, next thing we do is we're going to calculate the quarter total sales of each salesperson by using auto sum. What you notice is if I do calculation, the numbers are keeping on change, keep on changing. You see what happens? So I'm going back here, highlighting it, and then it's easy, just copy it, and just paste the values. We only need the values anyway, so okay. And then we copy the first row, the salesperson number one, copy it to salesperson number two. So you have different results, the total sales, okay? This is what you call relative cell reference, okay? You have different numbers from each cell to the next group of cells, okay? What we have done is we just copy the cell references, okay? In the first row, you have the reference of B6 to D6. If you copy it down to the next row, you'll have, uh, it will calculate the next row sets of references from B7 to D7. So that is what you call relative cell reference. So we'll just copy everything down here, okay? So we have a result of quarter total for each person. Now we're going to calculate the commission of each person, salesperson, okay? Okay, first put the dal uh, we put the equal sign, and then press this, the, we're going to calculate all these numbers to just one reference number, which is the F3, which you have the 5% commission rate, okay? So we're going to multiply by 5% here, then enter, okay? We're going to follow the relative cell reference principle, so we copy it down, but the problem is having different results. It's this is error results. So we're going to fix that problem. Then we're going to delete this one. Okay, then press F2 for our editing. Okay, now it shows the formula. E6 multiplied by F3, okay? So all these numbers will be multi all multiplied by commission rate. So we're going to fix the numbers of the commission rate by just pressing F4, the F4 function of the keyboard. Now it shows two dollar signs before the F and before the three. 
then enter okay so this is what you call absolute cell reference okay we just copy it down okay now you have a good result okay because we fix the f3 cell reference uh, which you have the commission rate of five percent okay that is what you call absolute cell reference actually you can also change the numbers the commission rate for example you can change it to 0 0.08 or 8 percent okay you don't have to recalculate the commission the commission will be uh, calculated auto automatically okay let's say for example we change our mind and we we give 10 percent commission for all these persons again the commission result will change okay so that's how you calculate the relative and absolute cell reference using the f4 function of the keyboard okay so that's it for now thank you for watching